Well, hello, this is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Travels. Hope you're having a good morning, depending on when you watch this. Um, today we're going to be discussing what I've added to this kit. Get me home. Keep in mind, my way home is I work two hours, I work three hours. It's not up to three hours, so I don't need such a big backpack. Maybe during the winter time I would, but right at the moment it's getting warm outside and I can deal with this. Um, another thing we're going to be discussing is what I took out of my tent. I do have a survival tent in there. I'm going to lay it all out here in a minute. Also, what I keep in my pockets that go with this. So I have extra stuff in my pockets, in the bag, in the tin. But also carrying this, my growl. And I'm going to get you down here. I'm going to show you what I took out. Because there's a couple of things in there that are actually kind of debatable. Alright, let's get to what's debatable. The magnifying glass, basically. Parental lens, whatever you want to call it. And get it out of there. There we go. Fits in your wallet. These do work. I'm in Pennsylvania. The part of Pennsylvania I'm in, you have sun. It's going to be sunny all day, I believe. I didn't even see. I saw a couple of clouds. Yesterday, I couldn't use this thing for nothing. The last few days have been rainy, wet, cold, and all the above. Today, not bad. It's sunny outside. So that's too bad. Well, I actually might put that back in there for the sunny days. You need some extra fire starting stuff here. Or a way to start a fire. Another thing that's too bad was this. Because I had a bigger one in my pack. This one's not as durable as the one. It's not that heavy duty compared to one in my pack. But it is extra weight. It is extra tool. It has. That's how a small one. It has some other stuff in there. Some other tools. That's where my bigger one that I keep. And it has more tools. It's heavy dutier. And it works great. So those two things are debatable. I'm thinking about putting this back in my. And then this one, not so much, because the extra blade, I have a blade in here. I have my Swiss Army knife in here, and plus I have a blade of my multi tool that's in here, too. So I don't really... This, this is going to stay out. You guys just give me your opinion on this one. Do I keep it, or should it just stay out? Another thing I took out, and I'm not sure what happened. I saw this down my fishing line, so I had fishing line going to hooks and sinkers. Like I said, it takes over two hours to three hours to get back home from work, depending on what's going on. I have no plans on doing it over there. If I do it over there, I do have snacks getting me through the night. Long term, if I'm with this pack, could I use these probably? But I have no plans on being out there long term. Plus, I have bank line and whatnot on me. Um, the water sources around me are mostly creeks that. Running into each other and fish it flows into the Sustain River. Now, I don't have the river next to me. I thought I did, but it turns out it was a different creek. It was a bigger one that flows into the Sustain River. So, uh, and from what I've seen, I haven't seen no fish in these creeks. I haven't seen nobody fishing them. Doesn't mean there's no fish in them, but it's the fishing line and the hooks and sinkers I probably had no use for. Um, another thing that's staying out there are these water bags. Along with these tablets. What do they call it? AquaQuest. Why? Because I have a water filter. In the wintertime, I'll switch it over to a, a metal water bottle. Why? Because these aren't that great during the wintertime. Um, if you have, I forgot the smart one that you can screw onto. I forgot the name to it, but um, when you can screw onto a smart bottle, it comes with a bag too. That thing freezes and it cracks, it's done. This you can freeze up to three times before it comes useless to filter in it. So it's not something you really want to carry in the winter time. Now that we've gone through here, time to get everything spread out. And I'll get back with you guys. Alright, now that I've shown you what I took out of the survival team, I showed you what the bag looked like when it's full. Here's my layout for the bag. I have a Swiss safe. Yeah, emergency thermal blankets. I have, that's a lot of stock on my street, and I did away with the smaller multi-tool. I have this bigger multi-tool. 
It's heavy duty. It has more controls plus it has a blade. I also have this blade, so there's a second blade right there to go with that blade. I have a fire rod right here. I have a lighter sitting on top of some fire starters I made. I have a bandana or a handkerchief for filtering for wiping sweat off me just for grabbing hot stuff. I've got that. My glasses for those days my eyes are just tired of blur. My tin, we'll get into that here in a minute. Because remember, I took some stuff out of this tin. Trash bags that fit inside the pocket of this bag right here. Let's see, where am I? A tin, of course. Grow, grow a tape. If I can tape stuff together if necessary. My light, headlamp, extra batteries. If you're going to carry a head that, make sure you carry extra batteries. I've been guilty of not carrying extra batteries myself. 30 feet worth of bank line. Bank line can just be used for just about anything. Um, snacks and some almonds here. This 10 out of my um, Pathfinder Pantry Plus. And of course, it's a few, especially granola bars. Nature's out of here. One's peanut butter, one's. Oats and honey. Now, we can go over here. And I'll get back with you guys. And over here is what I keep in my pocket. Or pockets, I should say. I keep a pen to write with. I keep a flashlight. And I did have use for a flashlight once. So I definitely keep a flashlight on me. A hank of paracord, six feet. Lighter with the grow tape. And of course my Swiss Armor Knife. And like I said, the Swiss Armor Knife, that's my third blade. And plus it has tools on it. And that's why I keep my pockets. Now here's my survival tin right here that I made. I said I took some stuff out of some of this debate where I might put the, the um, magnifying thing back inside here. Let's get into it. This side closes. We're going to start off the tin too while we're at it. This is how you open it. Just take these. Close it the same way. Everything seems to it is not loose. I'm liking that. How waterproof it is, I don't know. We'll find, we're going to find out eventually. And we'll find out together. But on the lid, you see that white? It feels like silicone to me. I'm going to just get rid of that lid. So it might be waterproof with the lid on at least. We'll find out eventually. Here's what I've got. I got probably six feet worth of bank line. I've got a smaller lighter, so I have three lighters. I'm kind of big. I have multiple ways to start fires. Mind you, these lighters do get cold. During the winter time, you either want that light in your pocket. Or maybe up against your chest in your shirt. I've seen people make necklaces with the lighter just to keep that sucker warm. If you love against your body, it's going to stay warm. It's going to work. Does this thing work? Yes, it does. We also have six of these stormproof matches. I do have a striker for it in there somewhere. We'll find it here in a minute. There's six of them. I have a thing of grow tape in here. Be used for lots of things. I have a magnesium rod. Knock the magnesium off and use the fire rod that's on it. Get a fire going. Now I do have a boo-boo kit up in here. Well first let me show you the striker. The striker. Now, I was thinking when there was a strike, I was thinking at first of hitting it on top and taping it there. But I'm not sure what happens if it's got wet. So, if this thing is waterproof, I might tape it to the bottom of my lid. Like that. I 
Alright, first of all, we have our crop wraps. Now I know there's natural stuff you can put on your cuts, like if you have a pine tree around you. Pine sap. I don't have a pine tree around me. I do a I don't know all the natural stuff to put on cuts or such. And smaller cuts, I've never really worried about smaller cuts of my fingers. I've never had anything get affected. But I do keep band-aids for the smaller cuts. Depending on how small the cut is. Now if it's real small, I usually just do that. I usually stop laying in there seconds. But maybe you like a small, small cut, but that ain't going to help this press up this cheese. You might want to get a band-aid. I do, for a little bit bigger cuts, do have this sterile pad gauze. That's all it is. Um, that's where this grow attack is coming in. Now, this does have chemicals in it. And how do I know it? Because this is a fire starter, too, for me. I don't think you want to stick this up against your bare cuts. It'll stick eventually, but I did use regular duct tape once. I was working with a guy from California. And it said, and it said, and eventually I wasn't able to stick the garlic tape and get it to stick because the blood it just wouldn't stick. So they better have the gauze and then wrap the garlic tape around it. Or if you're having a band aid, it won't stick. That happens sometimes too. I'm not even sure about those band aids. I'll check them out. I have an Air Mercy thermal blanket. I'm good for shelter. I can take something together. I got two more of there plus the two trash bags. And if you're wondering what the orange stuff is, these are extra fire stars I put in here from Pathfinder. They sell these like these. In fact, I wouldn't mind knowing how they got them so hard like that. Because the ones I had made where I used were on wax, first of all. I wouldn't mind knowing how to get them this hard. Real thin. Just break off a piece. That's all you really need. Don't need to use the whole thing. Maybe you're in some major condition. You want the whole thing, or you can break it in half. But I like to break off a piece. Make them last longer. Here's what the tin looks like. You can see it's deep enough. Pile off Amazon. And there we go. That's my survival tin. Alright, if you guys are wondering about this shirt and this design that's on it, and I have a logo now, you can get this shirt, this is one of my logos, or you can get the other logo. Or this bag. The link is, in, is where my Facebook link is, and also my Instagram link. It's all in one place. I also have it connected to my YouTube channel, but the YouTube channel, I think they get it cut. It makes things a little bit more expensive, and plus... They don't show all the product I have. So definitely find my link where the Facebook link and the Instagram link is to go to that store. And for those that look or even buy, thanks. I do appreciate it. Now let's end this video. It's Kyle Kyle's Tracks from Trails. If you like what you see, of course, hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to me. For those that are, I appreciate it. And everything we can do, hit the notification about where we stay notified. And also, Drop me a comment. I do enjoy and appreciate the comments. We all learn off each other. And everything we can do is share the video out so we can keep it up with each other on social media and stay informed with each other. Other than that, it's Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. I will see you on the next one, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching.